Hello there. Welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. And today has been a lovely afternoon up here actually. Uh, lovely bright blue skies, nice bit of sort of wintry sun. It's starting to get a little bit warmer actually, to the point where I'm going to dare to say it that I think spring feels like it's on the way. And of course that's made everything sort of grow up a little bit so uh, just been digging over some beds and uh, yeah, enjoying the fact that some of the things I've planted over the winter like broad beans, onions, garlic etc really starting to put on a bit of growth now. I've also dug up some, uh, some uh, Jerusalem artichokes here which basically you leave in the ground as, as long as you until you need them basically and um, yeah so I look forward to cooking those. Uh, got tons more uh, still another easily two batches this size in the ground so if anyone's got any uh, <laughs> recipes for Jerusalem artichoke then please do let me know um, but um, yeah that'll be very nice but uh, while that's all very interesting of course you didn't uh, tune in to hear about the weather in North London or what I've been up to here well maybe one or two of you did uh, I know people like that but uh, most of you joined this video to uh, listen and hear about some whiskey and what is the allotment dram today I hear you ask well it's a brand new release came out maybe two or three weeks ago we just received our sample what week week ten days ago and did a, a blog post uh, last week as well on it uh, straight away and it's an English single malt and it's the Gulliver's 47 Pedro Jimenez casks so what can I tell you about uh, Gulliver's 47? Well this is uh, made, the, the whiskey itself is made for the brand. They don't actually have a distillery but it's made for the brand at the St George's distillery over in Norfolk and it's inspired by a gentleman called Samuel Gulliver who in 1747 started off traveling around the world at a time when you think that wasn't particularly common. Uh, so he started traveling around the world to find new wines and spirits and liqueurs to bring back uh, to his customers in, in the UK. So he, he owned a, a wine and spirit shop in uh, the small market town of Banbury. And so he went off to try and discover all of, all of these different things to then sell in his shop. And the brand has really been created, the Gulliver's 47, by an eighth generation of his family. It's a gentleman called Stuart Gulliver. And uh, it's been around for what, three, three or four years, something like that. Uh, probably two years ago was when we first heard of it, but didn't really know anything about it. And, you know, this is uh, the first time we've actually received one of the, the samples. So, you know, quite, quite uh, interested to sort of uh, taste it in the first place and what can I tell you about this this bottling the Gulliver's 47 Pedro Jimenez casks well it's made in small batches so they they put just a small number of these Pedro Jimenez sherry casks together and marry them together this is batch number one which was bottled back in in November uh, 2022 so just a couple of months ago and yeah, as I say, they don't say the number of the number of bottles that come out of those uh, those casks, but uh, it's been in fully matured in the Pedro Jimenez casks uh, or PX. You might sometimes see if you've ever seen PX sherry, then it's Pedro Jimenez sherry, and uh, it's been in there for six years, full maturation for six years, and it's bottled at 47% ABV and is both non-chill filtered and natural colour. So both things that we we like, um, and if you wanted to buy a bottle, obviously it's going to be bigger than this. 70, it's going to be 70 cl, and for that you're going to pay 79 pounds, and that will be uh, or is now via the Gulliver's 47 website. There's a little shop on there, and also through a, a select band of specialist whiskey retailers in the UK. So. It's really the background. I think we should probably now get on 
with I've worked up a bit of a thirsting bit of digging and digging up these uh, Jerusalem artichokes so I, I think we should get get cracking and have a little taste so Whee, there we go it's a nice little uh, media pack we've got with this a lovely sort of coppery amber it's like a deep sort of uh, brown tint there let's have a smell mmm so we've got it smells very rich very sweet quite captivating on the nose actually there's plenty of caramel and then there's some milk chocolate and there's also some uh, raisins like the dark dried fruit particularly raisins so the combination is making me think of chocolate coated raisins actually which you know, sounds very enticing so I think I'm going to have a taste Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Really rich and sweet, as the sort of nose suggested, but um, it's quite peppery, quite hot. And this is, I guess, where the sort of youthfulness of the spirit is coming through. You know, it's just six years old, but uh, yeah, that's really pepperiness and the heat is almost exaggerating that richness and sweetness so the caramel these uh, chocolate coated raisins but there's also slight sort of maltiness to this there's some butterscotch toffee it's a bit of like uh, candied orange peel as well and um, as I said for the nose very enticing so I am going to have another little sip and try and come up with some more notes for you. Mm. It's very mouth coating actually. Really quite full on. And it's a slight sort of earthiness, like cinnamon sort of spice, baking spice bit of cocoa in there bit of um, towards the end there's almost like a sort of bit of like earthy licorice licorice root something like that but yeah very very nice indeed really interesting to try we always like to try um, new brands kind of see what they're doing what direction they're trying to go in I mean we've tried stuff from the St George's distillery before but admittedly not for a little while but of course then like Gulliver's 47 have kind of taken it on and matured it in these uh, these Pedro Jimenez sherry casts so yeah really rich sweet quite delectable quite easy drinking for 47 percent and possibly the only sort of slight negative is this sort of heat and this really now the those sweeter fruitier notes are starting to fade it's really that heat and pepperiness that's kind of driving it on but you know very warming you now if it was a colder day than today then I, I think it would really be warming me up very nicely but uh, yeah really interesting to to try and they they have a, a small core range out for Gulliver's 47 so if you like the sound of it then you know I'd urge you to have a go you know if you see it sitting in a whiskey bar somewhere or you're in a whiskey shop and they've got a bottle mm. open for sampling then you know give it a go but um, yeah very nice so I think uh, that's probably about it for today uh, we'll let you get on with doing whatever you were doing before uh, you stumbled across this video we hope you've enjoyed it we hope you like the sound of the whiskey so from myself and the Gulliver's 47 Pedro Jimenez casks we will bid you farewell mm. And see you again very soon, we hope, for another allotment dram. Cheers.